Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1633, bananas went on sale for the first time in London, England. In 1710, the world's first law regulating copyright becomes effective in Great Britain. It is called the Statute of Anne. In 1790, the U.S. patent system is created. In 1802, the Great Trigonomical Survey begins to survey the entire Indian subcontinent. It takes 69 years. In 1815, more than 71,000 people are killed when Mount Tambora in Indonesia begins erupting and does so for the next three months. In 1816, Samuel Taylor Coleridge recites his poem, Kubla Khan, to fellow poet Lord Byron, who then persuades him to publish it. Good thing he did. In 1825, the first hotel in Hawaii opens. Can you imagine that at one point Hawaii didn't have hotels? It must have been awesome. In 1841, the New York Tribune begins publishing under editor Horace Greeley. In 1845, more than 1,000 buildings are damaged by fire in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In 1849, the safety pin was patented by Walter Hunt, who later sold his rights to the fastener for just $400, or about $15,000 in 2022 money. In 1856, the Theta Chi fraternity is founded at Norwich University in Vermont. In 1858, London's original Big Ben cracked during testing and was recast into the bell that is still in use today. In 1864, Austrian Archduke Maximilian becomes Maximilian I, Emperor of Mexico. I'll bet you didn't see that one coming. In 1865, a day after his surrender to Union forces, Confederate General Robert E. Lee addresses his troops for the last time. In 1866, Henry Berg of New York founded the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. We just call it the ASPCA. In 1869, the U.S. Congress increases the number of Supreme Court judges from seven to nine. In 1872, People in the great state of Nebraska created Arbor Day today by planting more than one million trees in their state. It is later changed to April 22nd. In 1887, on Easter Sunday today, Pope Leo XIII authorizes the establishment of the Catholic University of America. Also in 1887, former U.S. President Abraham Lincoln is reburied with his wife in his hometown of Springfield, Illinois. In 1896, Spirit and Lewis of Greece wins the inaugural Olympic marathon in Athens. The King of Greece joins him for the last lap. In 1912, the RMS Titanic embarked on its maiden voyage today. I have a feeling it is not going to end well. In 1913, the New York Highlanders play their first MLB game as the New York Yankees. In 1916, the Professional Golfers Association of America, or the PGA, is created in New York City. In 1917, a munitions factory explosion in Eddystone, Pennsylvania kills 133 workers. In 1923, in a speech in Germany, Adolf Hitler demands hatred and more hatred. In 1925, American author F. Scott Fitzgerald publishes his classic, The Great Gatsby. In 1932, Paul von Hindenburg is re-elected the president of Germany in a runoff election against Adolf Hitler. That will change up pretty darn soon. In 1938, 99.7% of Austrians approve the Anschluss, meaning the political unification of Austria and Germany. Well, supposedly 99.7% supported it. Also in 1938, New York makes syphilis tests mandatory in order to get a marriage license. In 1941, the country of Croatia is established as a fascist German puppet state. In 1944, Rudolf Verba and Alfred Wetzler escape from the Birkenau death camp. In 1945, the NFL's Boston Yanks and Brooklyn Tigers merge into one team. In 1947, Jackie Robinson becomes the first black player of the 20th century to sign a MLB contract. In 1953, Warner Brothers Studios premieres the first 3D film. It is called House of Wax. Also in 1953, at the NBA Championship Finals, the Minneapolis Lakers beat the New York Knicks 91-84 for a 4-1 series victory. 
This is the Lakers' fifth title in six years. In 1955, Ruth Ellis shoots her cheating lover David Blakely and becomes the last woman to be executed in the United Kingdom. In 1957, the courtroom classic 12 Angry Men movie was released in the United States. In 1962, 52,564 fans attend the first MLB game ever at LA's Dodger Stadium. They lose to the Reds. Also in 1962, the Houston Colt 45s make their MLB debut with an 11-2 win over the Chicago Cubs at Colt Stadium. In 1964, demolition begins on the historic Polo Grounds Sports Stadium, which had been home to the MLB's Giants and Mets and the NFL's Jets. In 1967, at the 39th Academy Awards, A Man for All Seasons, Elizabeth Taylor, and Paul Schofield win. In 1968, at the 40th Academy Awards, in the heat of the night, Rod Steiger and Katherine Hepburn win. In 1970, Paul McCartney leaves the Beatles, and the group is no more. In 1971, in an attempt to ease relations with the United States, the People's Republic of China hosts the U.S. table tennis team for a week-long visit. The timing is right, so that should have included Forrest Gump. Also in 1971, the Philadelphia Phillies opened their new home, Veterans Stadium, with a 4-1 win over the Montreal Expos. In 1972, the development, production, and stockpiling of biological weapons was outlawed by the Biological Weapons Convention, which was signed by more than 150 countries. Sounds like a good idea. Also in 1972, at the 44th Academy Awards, the French Connection, Gene Hackman, and Jane Fonda win. And in 1972 as well, a 7.0 earthquake kills one-fifth of the population of the Iranian province of Fars. In 1973, a British Vanguard turboprop crashes during a snowstorm in Switzerland, killing 104 people. Also in 1973, the Kansas City Royals open their new park, Royal Stadium, with a 12-to-1 pounding of the Texas Rangers. In 1974, Golda Meir resigns as Israel's Prime Minister. Also in 1974, magicians Penn and Teller meet for the first time today. In 1979, during the Red River Valley tornado outbreak, a tornado lands in Wichita Falls, Texas, killing 42 people. In 1981, believe it or not, but a computer glitch keeps NASA's space shuttle Columbia grounded. Makes me feel dumb about complaining when my laptop acts up. In 1986, during its most recent tour, Halley's Comet reaches its nearest point to the Earth today. In 1988, it took a decade to build, but today the Seto Great Bridge in Japan was opened to traffic. Also in 1988, at the 8th Golden Raspberry Awards, Leonard Part 6 wins for Worst Movie. Actually, it was so bad it should have won for the next few years. In 1989, at the 24th Academy of Country Music Awards, Hank Williams Jr., George Strait, and K.T. Oslin win. In 1991, L.A. King Wayne Gretzky scores an NHL record 93rd playoff goal. Also in 1991, the Italian ferry Moby Prince collides with an oil tanker in dense fog off Livorno, Italy, killing 140 people. In 1995, New York City bans smoking in all restaurants that seat 35 or more people. In 1996, the fastest wind speed ever recorded that was not a tornado was measured during tropical cyclone Olivia on Barrow Island in Australia. It was 408 kilometers per hour or 253 miles per hour. In 1998, after 30 years of violence, negotiators in Northern Ireland reach a peace deal calling it the Good Friday Agreement. In 2001, the Netherlands passed a bill permitting euthanasia, the first law of its kind in the world. In 2006, hundreds of thousands protest the Sensenbrenner Bill in the United States. Also in 2006, at the 40th CMT Music Awards, Keith Urban, Carrie Underwood, and Kenny Chesney win. In 2010, many high-ranking Polish people, including the Polish president, are killed in a plane crash today near Smolensk, Russia. In 2012, the United Nations deadline for Syrian troop withdrawal passes as violence continues. Also in 2012, Apple Incorporated 
is valued at $600 billion, making it the largest company by market capitalization in the world. In 2014, the Council of Europe suspends Russia's right to vote. Also in 2014, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees include Peter Gabriel, Hall & Oates, Kiss, Nirvana, Linda Ronstadt, Cat Stevens, and the E Street Band. In 2016, explosions caused by fireworks in Kerala, India kill more than 100 people and injure nearly 400 more. In 2018, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg begins testifying before the U.S. Congress about data use and security. In 2019, astronomers released the first ever image of a black hole, which is in the center of the massive galaxy called M87. Also in 2019, scientists announce a new species of human that they name Homo luzonensis. Remains found in the Philippines are dated at 50 to 60,000 years old, and this human stood about three feet tall. And in 2019 as well, New York declares a public health emergency and compulsory vaccinations after an outbreak in Brooklyn of measles. That's not what you thought I was going to say, is it? And lastly, in 2021, China orders Alibaba to pay a record fine of $2.8 billion U.S. after antitrust regulations say the company has been acting as a monopoly. But there was no mention of lack of quality control. Hey, thanks for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure that you subscribe. Give me some love. I need it. All right. Talk to you tomorrow.